Hello everyone and welcome back to Around the World in 80 Planes. In this flight I'm gonna go from Stuttgart to Cologne in Germany in a Fokker 50 and this is a freeware Fokker 50 appropriately Team Lufthansa and uh, yeah uh, looking pretty good overall and we're gonna get some flaps and we'll see how it goes. It's not a very long flight and yeah, I have a choice of airfields to land at. There's the big one, EDDK. And then when I did uh, the flight in a live stream, because I actually did like half of the around the world in e-planes during live streams, but decided that the quality of those videos wasn't good enough to post to YouTube, so I'm redoing them. But during the live stream, uh, one of the viewers wanted me to land at EDKL, which is actually a grass strip. So we'll see. Um, that that strip was not too bad so I'll decide when I get there anyway uh, so yep we are continuing with the Apollo 12 audio they are in the midst of their EVA their first EVA on the moon that's uh, Pete Conrad and Al Bean so pressing play okay, I've been working a little bit. Okay. okay so they're on that business hey, Al, we copy your let comment me tune on, that down uh, a little bit that into the ground. how far in are you able to get it Seems a little bit loud. All right, here we go. Roger, I'll go ahead. Don't uh, spend uh, too much time on it. You're running a tad behind. Okay, well, I'll tell you what, I can feel that the okay. field, when I hold the, you're up, flaps up. the end of the, uh, the fans, I can feel the, uh, the wheels running because I can feel something in motion inside. Okay, now, I've just changed completely the settings I had before. Okay, Al, we see no change down here. Why don't you press on? I, I think he's still trying to fix okay. the camera. I don't know. Let me, let me try another F-stop, the other way. Yeah, he is. He's still trying to fix the camera. How's that? No down here. <laughs> it's it's hopeless. It's hopeless. We had we didn't actually fly over Stuttgart last That's time, so. Now, okay, what change did you make? Oh, something's actually fixed it. What? I, I hit it on the top with my hammer. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Skillful fix, Al. He 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 hit it on the top yeah, with a hammer. I did not remember that he did that. I don't know if that actually fixed it or not, but... I can only imagine. Okay, uh, why don't you give it uh, one more light wrap and also uh, cut down on the F-stop. It sounds like it did actually fix it. He literally hit on the top with a hammer. Okay, um... Red line seems very generous on this. But I see yellow line at, uh, 210-ish. Hey, we're still not getting a good picture. Why don't you press on and we'll uh, try to get back to it later if we have time. Okay, I'll pound it a little bit. <laughs> there you go. I'll uh, just leave it like it is. Bring it slightly towards the limb here. So that if you do get a picture, you can see something. There you go. Now that ought to give you some sort of a picture that you can think about. Be glad to come back one time. I go to work again. Al? Yes, sir. What I need is a piece of tape. What I need is a piece of tape. Good luck. Good luck. There's all kinds of tape around here. This is the best EVA. Sugar seems really spread out. There's uh, these little uh, towns on this hill. It's uh, stretched along the river between the hills.
I guess there's the station, so that's presumably sort of like the business center sort of thing. Got a stadium here though. Huge park. So the river is the Necker River, looks like, N-E-C-K-A-R, but we're going to depart from it. We're going to head over to Karlsruhe and then uh, head on up from there. Sounds like they they improved on the flag from Apollo 11 because that was apparently very difficult to get up. See a back view of Stuttgart. Okay. Gotcha. Okay. Good. Okay. You can see the stadium. Uh, I go get my camera. And some of the details. Approaching Forsheim, I don't know how to render that P in front of the name. P F O R Z Heim. Yeah, I'm not gonna get a p -f very well. Forsheim is the best I can do. Okay. 
And that's the city in front. It seems stretched out along the river as well. Clipper, you were broken up. Say again. Broken up. Say again. Are you attacking too? Pete, we have uh, Clipper both and you both on the same uh, air to ground. Clipper, go ahead. Say again. This looks like the Enge River. I mean, that's the best I can do on this map. It's not zooming in quite right. Enz. E-N-Z. That Forsheim is long. But it branches here. Or no, that's just, I don't know, some sort of ridge going, yeah, no, it doesn't really branch, or there's something going on here. There is a junction between the river and a small canal-like thing. I keep hearing a whistle. That's what I hear, okay. Anyway, we actually want to go this way somewhat. Nice serene landscape over here. Okay, yeah. Uh, two of the pans are done. Roger, Pete. Copy two pans. Dale, how, how is the limb inspection? Kind of working on it right there. Roger. quickly check uh, who made this particular freeware Fokker 50. Riviere, R-I-V-I-E-R-E, -E -E is the name of the user on the xplain.org forum who uh, made this particular plane. Originally made it for Xplain 7, it looks like, and updated. Very nice. Riviere has also made quite a lot of other planes that we will see and have seen. The ATR-72 earlier. An A380 as well. 
and numerous air buses. Not all of them seem to be X Plane 11 compatible. Roger, Al, do you see anything uh, on the surface from the DPS? So, this is Karlsruhe? No, I don't. Uh, the first under there, it's kind of interesting. The surface under there is uh, clean. Uh, it doesn't have the loose dust particles, that, as does the rest of the lunar surface about here. Uh, it also has uh, a number of small rounds. And we're going to be following the Rhine River, which you see to our left. Rolling off in a radial direction from underneath the skirt of it. Uh, I'll take a couple pictures of this over here in my good shot. That's an interesting place right there. Uh, trying to see it in the map. Eight inches or so. Schloss, Schloss Gartenbahn. Roger Allen, good description. There we go. Looks like some kind of Alice kind of thing. You can really move around out here. Uh, Houston, that, that's a mobile pogo rig that uh, we've got there, and also that one in the center of the future. Man, it's just like this. You can, you can just run and bounce just like you can on that pogo. It's a real good training device. Where are you out? I'm over here back. Uh, the back I'm ready to start the off Okay, I got Oh dear. I looked up Schlossgartenbahn and all I get is German pages. Um Roger, we copy that. Let me just go for Schlossgarten. Say it. I noticed when you get started moving down here where it's sometimes hard to stop. Yeah. Roger, Roger. 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 Pete and Al, you're uh, one plus 22 into the timeline, and you're running about six minutes behind nominal. We're monitoring uh, plus feed water two as a determining parameter. No, that the Schlossgarten they have is from Oldenburg. Okay, that doesn't it's seem to be the one here. Now we've uh, kind of gotten over the initial uh, check out on how to walk. And, uh, That's move completely and different. Okay, well, Schloss Garden means Palace Garden, Roger, so, showing, uh, okay. Two plus 30 left in the EVA. Karlsruhe Palace, so that's what that was. Okay, Pete, you're starting back on. Alright, let's go. Okay. Barely in nope. view here. That sort of half circle road, and then the palace at the center of it. The city was planned with the tower of the palace at the center and 32 streets radiating out from it, like spokes of a wheel or ribs in on, on a folding fan. I'm quoting from Wikipedia here. Okay. So that uh, nickname for Karlsruhe in German is the Fan oh, City. Go, well, it's certainly distinctive hour, from yeah. this site, so obviously it's expanded far out it from is. that it fan. Probably have room on the speed here. Okay, right. Level off without throttling down. Right out on the boom, Roger, Pete, we copy. Good 
Very sort of post glacial river. Feel like a lot of these for me. I mean, of course, there's the normal meandering bits. I guess it's not as post glacial as some other stuff further north. It sure leaves a lot of stuff around though. the city of Spire, S-P-E-Y-E-R, possibly Spare, and forward of us is Mannheim. Oh, nice little bridge there. So my uh, moving map is in German, and it seems like we misspelled the Rhine River. Normally I see it spelled in English R-H-I-N-E, and it sure looks like it's supposed to be R-H-E-I-N. <laughs> Which I don't think would change the pronunciation in English either. I don't think anybody would try and say that any other way except for Ryan. Okay, I feel like we're going a bit high for the general sightseeing. So I'll throw all down a bit. Uh, self industry park at our horizontal stabilizer there. Not a whole lot of details here. To our right is John Deere work. Manheim. Um, at our right wing. Or, uh, a little, no, a little bit further back. Uh, on the south side of those train lines. Interesting. Of course, the entire Rhine River Valley is known for industry.
John Deere Work Mannheim. Yep, it is what you think it is. The John Deere tractor factory, construction equipment, forestry equipment, and all. 6,000 series tractors made there, apparently. And there's a BASF, th this whole uh, industrial sector at our left horizontal stabilizer is a BASF SE Stomwerk. Look what's happening. Gotta put this together right. Where's the arrow? Okay, I let down the cap while we wait. Wait a minute. Here you go. Okay, put this together. With an area of approximately 10 square kilometers, the Lugswin Lugswin Haven. Verbun site is the world's largest integrated chemical complex. Oh, it looks pretty big to me. Roger, I'll copy. You're working with the fuel cask. Apparently, had a really bad explosion post war 1948. But, you know, it's a chemical plant. It's obviously, it's improved since. Um, Clipper, Houston, go to wide dead band. Houston! You can lock me for my first boy boat, gentlemen. Okay, Houston. Pete, go ahead. Real interesting as we put out this out step, right? There's one thing that's pretty obvious as we're setting out the uh, components of the out step here. All sorts of industrial centers. You see these uh, little clusters here all along the river. Oh, did I miss pe pe uh, pointing out the city worms? I did. Uh, right there at our tail is uh, the city of worms. Famous, famous for its diet. I'll leave it at that. Hey, I'll be copy your comments. You can see the river made an extra arc over here at some point. Very sort of vigorous river. Whole spur over here.
Town up ahead is Oppenheim. I could make a guy mad, you know it? Yep. Let me undo it a minute, try it a different way. Yep. It's gonna get you mad. Here's an owl, put the tool on, screws it all the way down, and the fuel element would not come out of the kit. He's taking the tool off, and he's working there again. Roger, we copy. So we're uh, approaching the city of Mines. Uh, not entirely sure I'm pronouncing that right. Alpine having uh, difficulty. Seems to recall somebody uh, correcting my pronunciation of it, and I have forgotten. Uh, M A I N Z. And then far to our right, so you can sort of see the buildings off in the distance, is Frankfurt. Hey, Al, when you're working on that, uh, try to make sure you've got the pins all the way in, tighten up on it, then you can try pushing down on a little before you uh, pull it out. Okay, don't, don't touch these, these will break off, that's all she wrote. Yeah, I understand. Don't count on anything of it. No, no, I'm not going to. Don't okay. use the hammer on it. Well, I mean, <laughs> I guess they are using it. Anyway. I mean, the thing is, other crews probably had similar issues and such. It's just that the these guys tend to say it when they have the, the other guys keep quiet and then they they struggle quietly, right, with everything. These guys, they do not mind seeming like they are. You know, making it clear that they're having a problem because, well, they're very secure in their uh, in their competency. Okay, 
Well, my recommendation is to pound on the gas a bit, yeah. Hey, that's doing it. You put a few more pounds. That'd be harder than that. There's mines and, uh, further to the north is Weissbottom. Oh, I guess there's a lot of scenery here. Oh, I guess we can turn it down a little bit. Oh, that's a lot. Well, it just means we can see the actual brown textures. We're high enough that probably doesn't matter too much. Yankee Clipper, Houston, one minute to LOS. And it probably comes down to there being just a few really high, highly detailed buildings from the freeware packages available by Gunter Kremp on the explain.org forums. He's made quite a lot of highly detailed buildings. Look at that one right there, uh, right at my nose. See that? Yeah, stuff like that tends to lag things out a bit. They're pretty intense. But if I was flying lower and slower, those would be really fascinating and good to look at. Cathedrals and such. You can see other very custom buildings here and there. But the more okay. detail they have, the slower it makes things go, of course. River basically takes a 90 de degree turn here and then another one back to the right after a little ways. I guess it is important that they're saying everything that they do because they're not transmitting very well on TV. But they basically said all the things that they were doing anyway, so. Pete, we copy. You've got the UHT, tongs, and sub pellet. I mean, I could probably go faster, uh, according to Wiki, the cruise speed of this is 270, 270 knots, maximum speed 305, well, I'll pour on a little bit more. Range is only 900 nautical miles, but uh, that's enough for its normal jobs. The turboprops are 2,500 horsepower apiece. Okay. 
Your limb shadow should be about 110 feet. Okay. I'm looking for. I, I'm dying to find out. Following the river, I've over taken the long area. way around somewhat. But we're not too far away from the clan. I want to go look out as many times. I think I'll take a picture of it. Here, Mike. Roger, Pete. Could you give us your uh, position and uh, distance with respect to the limb? Heading into a uh, UNESCO to a heritage site area along the river south of Koblenz. So as it turns in on this bend, we're entering this UNESCO site. Roger. And here I am trying to spot the Nürburgring on the map, but uh, I don't know exactly where it is. Somewhere. I mean, I'm zoomed out quite a lot to find that, of course. The mound sticking up, and I can't imagine how it got there and what would make it. I have too much mist to see the cities in the distance. How's our timeline going, Houston? Pete, uh, at 1 plus 4 8 into the EVA, you're uh, looking good. Looks as though you're right on there if you've uh, just about completed your traverse. Yeah. Now look, Alan, over here. We're way out Ring is uh, west of Koblenz. Sort of halfway between Koblenz and uh, and the border with Belgium. Don't give the geologists any hope, it's not a volcano. <laughs> Al, Roger, we copy. Is there any uh, hole or central vent? I don't know. I gotta go over. We'll, we'll, we'll go over and over after we get the alpha out. There's a couple up here. This is our, we could be in for a better spot. There's a couple of them tonight. There's a lot more rocks up here. Listen, there's like we could play geologists just for two days and never get any further than we are right now. Contrast to 
They're so bright. Okay, let's move them. Okay. Ooh, there's an awkward seam in the ground Maybe texture over there. Let me hide that. <laughs> let's let's avoid that. Move this a little bit further to the east, or correction, to the north, so that I won't end up over that hole with a side, okay? Now I think it'll be a real good spot. handling tool. The side is the super thermal ion detector experiment. Thank goodness for the PAO's explanations. <laughs> I had no idea. <laughs> okay, approaching Koblenz. That's that bend in the river up ahead. again for the buildings. Oh, uh, let's see if uh, we can turn that up now. Not a huge amount of extra buildings, but some. Where'd you go, Al? Right over here, babe. Oh, you're miles away. Yeah, I am. I think I moved over here. Oh, I had to do it, Pete, so that I'd have a good time. So, somewhere off to the left is the Nürburgring, the infamous Hi. Nürburgring. If I had some guts, I'd probably post myself doing Nürburgring attempts in uh, Assetto Corsa, but people would just make fun of me. <laughs> hey, when you deploy that uh, PSE stool, it would help if you tamped that ground down uh, as well as you could before putting the stool down. I don't get a whole lot of practice in uh, racing games. So I'm without practice, obviously not as good at them as I would like. I don't know. We just have to see what happens. I uh, I'm worried about it getting thermal short myself. Roger, Al. In general, I'm fond of games where I move about, though. Not so much, you know, places where you settle down. Like, it, for instance, in No Man's Sky, I'm not really interested in base building at all. Or in Fallout 4, uh, building a base or some structure and just settling down is opposite of what I want to do in games. It's like, you gotta have an open world game and then you're gonna cause yourself to be static or tied to a particular location, right? Of course, you gotta go around to get resources for that location, but still, you're sort of tied to that location somewhat. And I, I don't like that very much. Mainly because in real life I'm very much tied to a location, so in games I would rather be the opposite. I thought about doing a sightseeing in games series, 
combining all sorts of games, somewhat inspired by the Notre Dame, uh, you know, fire and all, and then Ubisoft uh, releasing their uh, Assassin's Creed that had Notre Dame in it for free. I picked it up and thought, well, you know, sightseeing games would not be bad. There are a lot of games that have a lot of sights. I mean, including this one, of course. But I have a lot of games like that. I mean, a few Assassin's Creeds. Especially Odyssey as a really great ancient Greece. Um, American Truck Simulator and Euro Truck Simulator, sort of, right? Ooh, I don't know what that was supposed to be. Seems like that's like the texture for the side of the building, not the top. Well, so maybe fictional locations like in Dishonored or. Maybe even for real locations, there's plenty of games that have them. Oh, I'm descending a little bit too much. Actually, we're approaching Cologne. Bomb first, of course. Before you set the central station down for the final time, if you'd also tamp that ground down, it would help in uh, keeping the dirt off of the uh, thermally sensitive areas. Dust is a serious problem on the moon. I mentioned earlier that uh, they were initially worried that the thrust from the LEM engine 
would, uh, you know, cause too much stuff to be kicked onto the surveyor probe. But uh, turns out that probably the surveyor probe was cleaned off by the thrust from the. I mean, it was uh, the thrust wasn't that huge, as he had mentioned. It didn't really make a indentation in the ground the way their footprints do. And to explain that, it sort of spread over a huge area, and the thrust is um, a thrall down. It's thrall down when they're touching down anyway. So the actual force but with their uh, footprints is much more given the space it's actually the pressure is confined to a particular uh, area so we could calculate it out but I'm not going to do that on the fly here right now we're approaching Bonn. These are sort of towns on the outskirts. You can see some... I don't know if that's uh, supposed to be a big building there or whether that's an autogen issue, but we'll find out. The uh, city of Bonn coming up. Getting a little bit dark here. Which way do you want this? Under there, under. I had to really push that other way. Look at all that dust. Okay, now. Second, wait a second, let me get it with you. Ready? I got it, I did it now. I did it. Uh, we need to touch the shorting button. Okay, we connected the RTG to the Central Station, Houston. And we're ready to uh, go to work deploying experiments. I got the antenna mass. Alright, get him, get him. The RTG is the radioisotope thermal generator which will power the experiments in all set. These experiments being deployed six to seven hundred feet west and a little north of uh, the lamb. It opened, Houston, and we closed it again, and we got no dirt on it. Got no dirt on it. Quite Roger an achievement. Well done. Yeah. <laughs> nice little park here. Baseball diamonds, interestingly. Crazyite Park. Let me just look up, look it up. Okay, let me camp the dirt down underneath the central space. Hey, easy does the book. That's me. Well, there's a lot of uh, parks with I that name. With so it must be something general. Okay. Dark and cheese down and cooking. Okay, I'm camping the dirt here. Oh, that's okay. a page in German. Pretty good. Look over where I'm camping. How am I doing? Let's try to do a little bit more this way, I think. Well, that was camping, Pete. Looks to me like every time you camp, is your foot comes up. Oh, well, we're getting some uh, in-city lag again. Yeah, okay. Here we go, Al. Now, take your UHP there. Keep that. You got well, that looks like there. a definite Good. building, All doesn't right. it? Here she comes. Here she goes. Don't know what to make of that. Get it right. Down the sun, like so. There you go. How's that? That's good. Okay. Ready to go to work. Go. Have at it. Oh, there's some other built little buildings okay, there. Well, I, I wish I, I, I had right them right on my map, there. but I don't. Don't know where I'm gonna do the. Oh, and something that looks more like a parliament building, which makes sense. Bonn was the capital of West Germany. Other very detailed structures as well. Sure do. Oh, 
Okay, so... Apparently, Fraser Park is amusement park. And that particular one was uh, minute, created in 1979. Sure do. Go ahead. Uh, Oh, the ballpark, the baseball park, was built for the 2001 European Baseball Championship. I didn't even realize there was a European Baseball Championship. Sorry, it's a bit dark right now. Oh, the sun seems to be there, but I think there are some clouds that are not being fully rendered or something like that. Well, we're approaching Cologne. And actually, the airport is two hour. Well, that's one airport. That's EDDK. I think I'll land there this time, but we'll fly over to city first. Negative, Pete. Go ahead. Well, let's throw down in the center. Roger, we copy. Go ahead. This uh, baseball championship happens every two years or so, it looks like. It's gonna be one in Germany this year, maybe? I don't know. Uh, 6th to 15th of September in Bonn. It also represents a qualifying round for the 2020 Summer Olympics in Tokyo. Okay. Roger, that's good. Go ahead. Okay. Lots of custom buildings in Cologne. We'll probably get a better look at them the next time I fly. Because I'll pick a time in the morning. Let's see. Where was the place that I landed before? EDKL, this little thing. Okay, after the solar wind, I get an EMU check, and I'm down to mid cooling anyhow, and it says LSM off road 2, point boom. Wait a minute, let me buy. Wait a minute. Okay, we 
It would be better to go with the main airport because then the city will be on our way up when we head to our next stop, which is Amsterdam. We're sort of zigzagging through Europe at this point instead of going directly east, of course. Uh, you can see the grass strip area that I landed in previously with the Fokker 50. Uh, I'll fly over it. this one. Obviously, because there's a row of trees there. It's over here. Yeah, so I had landed here previously. It's not difficult, it's a pretty long runway actually. This doesn't have any indicator of, uh, you know, stall speed or max flaps or anything on the speedometer. Try looking up the numbers. Yeah. He'll be fine. Oh, don't whistle, please. The audio isn't that good. Sounds like a good plan. Yes, 
something? Look at that. What? Well, I, I put a little dirt on it, I guess. When I put out the skirt of this foil, it doesn't want to lie down. <laughs> it's because it's been folded so long. I guess I could probably just put it out. But it acts almost like it's got a little static charge on it that's resisting the lunar surface. <laughs> I'm sure that isn't it. Hey, stop one second. Watch out. Don't, don't come across. Don't. I know. That's what I want you to do is to come take it. Okay, that cable isn't even unreal. And see, it's perfect. Take it out there and set it. Get up away. It's right behind there. You may want to come. Just take yeah. it. Hey, you might want to trip it, uh... Their EVA is going to go on for probably at least one and a half more flights, I think. They've got a lot of business to take care of. You can sort of imagine with the cumbersome gloves how uh, difficult it is to manipulate all these little instruments, even having had some practice at it. from the map I was lined up a little bit better than this, but okay. I am low, but that was because for sightseeing reasons, of course. Could be good for flaps now. And landing gear. Stand by Pete. Sure, you're about uh, eight to ten minutes behind, but uh, it's no sweat. We've got you've got lots of oxygen and uh, feed water. We'll give you an update on the time remaining uh, when you de finish deploying L7. Okay, good. Looks like it's going real good. Houston, this uh, size barometer. I'm having a little trouble making the skirt lie down, but other than that, it looks good. Doesn't want to just lay flat like it does. Uh, and Earth, when G, it sort of wants to slip up to you, and I guess it's just because it's got this uh, memory in it from uh, being folded so long. Roger, Al. You can uh, make a two-man task out of that and put a little dirt around the outside edge to uh, hold it down, if you like. You won't have any trouble getting a little dirt on it, will you? Just did it, budget. <laughs> little joke there. <laughs> Two knot wind. Roger, I'll copy you have the bubble centered.
Floating down like a leaf here. It feels like it anyway. It's got a huge wing, so it can go pretty slow. She does reverse thrust, which is good. I'm not, I wasn't even applying brakes there. Okay, well, we can take this taxi away. Come on. Once again, I can't tell whether I've got brakes applied or not. That's gotta be applied. Still miss that little indicator in the bottom left hand corner from flight sim. Roger, copy central station up and uh, 90 degrees on the PSE Nomen. Okie dokie. So, we have arrived at Cologne, next time to Amsterdam, in a smaller plane. And got paused the audio for now. And make sure to get it to that marker position. And hopefully enjoyed the tour of the Rhine River Valley. I didn't do all the details, obviously. There's a lot to see. And sometimes my map doesn't tell me what everything is. Uh, the airport is a little bit barren right now. I don't have the static objects. I'm going over. That should be reverse thrust. Well, I think I've got my choice of parking spaces. All right. Uh, so leaving it here. A sloppy approach but thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed the video if you did enjoy the video please do press like if you have any comments or suggestions please leave them in the comment section below and i'll see you next time